Hey everybody, it's the Mind Catcher, and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today for a Mac haul. Yes, finally I got to go to Mac and check out all of the different things that I needed and um, wanted for the longest time. I've been checking out several people's videos, and it's just like, okay, this person has that. Oh, it looks so beautiful on their skin. I want to try it myself. So I really, really appreciate all of the hauls and stuff you guys are doing. Miss um, Tiffany Hollis, I'm going to uh, shout her out. She's a wonderful YouTuber. Um, she is uh, employed at Mac Cosmetics, and she's one of the people that I blame with this hair haul because... Um, she's always showing the different products on her channel. She has nice dark skin and I love to see how she's playing with the products and explaining how to use the products. So uh, she's one of the people that I blame, but there's several more I'm going to blame throughout this video. Uh, but we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you guys the four lipsticks and the lip glass that I bought at MAC. So let's get started. This first lipstick is called Snob. And I saw a few people using it. I believe uh, Miss Creative Diva uses it a lot. I always love seeing it on her. Hey, Miss Creative Diva. And um, if you guys have a chance, go over her channel. She has beautiful makeup looks always. I mean, she is fabulous. So you guys, this is Snob. And Snob is a, a satin finish, okay? It's a pinky uh nude color and it looks very pretty on lighter skin tones but i think darker skin tones can pull it off as well okay so that's the not. next color here is called uh flat out fabulous that is the color that i'm wearing on my lips right now it is fabulous it is a beautiful bright like fuchsia it's beautiful and it's a retro matte finish and one thing i can say about this new formulation with the retro mattes Ruby, Ruby Woo, I'm sorry, Ruby Woo is a matte finish and I always have trouble with Ruby Woo during the day uh, going into the creases of my lips and everything but this retro matte, I really like the formulation on this it's just enough uh, smoothness and just enough matte for my lips so I really love this this is flat out fabulous this is Velvet Teddy and it is a matte finish it's a nice um, nude tone I wore it earlier for this makeup look that I have on my eyes I used the flat out fabulous and the uh, velvet teddy just to give you guys a nude tone and a bright tone just to see what it looks like against the uh, eyeshadow look and I really like it on dark skin it's very pretty I um I kind of put it uh, with NYX nutmeg lip pencil and it worked out fine so that's Velvet Teddy. Very pretty. This, my lovely, is Girl About Town. Everybody was talking about Girl About Town. I think this one, or either the Flat Out Fabulous, came um, out again with the Playland collection. I want to say it was this one, but it's an amplified. Um, yes, it's an amplified finish, and it's very beautiful. Um, I swatched it on my hand earlier. Gorgeous color. And you guys stay tuned for the next video after this one because um, there's going to be some swatches of everything that I'm showing here. Okay, so that's Girl About Town. This lip glass right here is called Oyster Girl. And I'm going to blame Time the Infamous for this one. I am nowhere near her uh, complexion, but every time I see her put this on her lips, I'm like, yeah, that's so pretty. So I had to buy it and I'm going to play around with it and if it doesn't go well with my skin tone at all, I'm just going to put it in my kit. But it is beautiful. Um, I want to say I have a color that's very similar to this uh, lip glass from Black Opal, but I'm going to test them together and if they are in fact dupes or very close, I'll definitely bring you a, a video showing those two together. Okay, so that's Oyster Girl. Alright guys, what good is a lipstick without a good lip liner? On uh, Facebook, we have a group called Makeup Matters. And we love uh, talking about the latest things, what we like to use on clients, all of that good stuff. So I posted inside of the, um, the chat room, what are your favorite lip uh, pencils from MAC? And I got a lot of feedback. The four lip pencils that everybody liked the most were... 
magenta and I picked that one up that's magenta and I'm wearing that right now with my flat out fabulous and it is a beautiful lip liner um, night moth and honestly I look for night moth in the mall before they're always sold out of night moth and when I went this weekend it was the last one so this is night moth It's deeper than current and you guys know how I love current is a little deeper than current so I might have a new favorite let's see um, also cherry a lot of people said they love to use cherry with red lipsticks so I picked up cherry and um, a few people said they love cork okay um, chestnut was one and I already own chestnut so they gave me another one with cork so that was four lip pencils that I picked up all right also for the eyebrows for my kit I just love to have stud and spiked and if you guys watch uh, Lil Pumpkin Pie, she's always using spiked or stud in her eyebrows. I've always felt that her eyebrows look so natural. So I picked up uh, both of those. And then um, the lady in the Mac store, shout out to Paula at Aventura Mall, Miami. She told me to try brunette. Okay, so that is brunette. Okay, also... I wanted to try the concealer that everybody is um, trying with the doe foot applicator and that is the, um, what is this, the Select, um, I think this is the Pro Long Wear, yeah, Select Moisture Cover. I got it at NW40 and that's a highlight for myself and you see the little applicator there, you just tap it underneath your eyes, down your nose, wherever you want to highlight and I also got a very light color. Um, for my kit because I said you know just in case I have um, some people with lighter skin tones uh, Could I highlight them as well using this and this is NW25 So I'm going to definitely give you guys swatches of that quick quick story on my foundation Now you guys saw me do a foundation using my match master when I bought the match masters in 9.0 and 9.5 I think that was summer of last year and they've been holding up. You don't need much. I really like the um, texture. I really like the formula of the Match Master Foundations. However, this was the first time uh, over the weekend that I wore Match Master from early morning to late evening. I primed my face with um, Philips Mickle Magnesia and I put it on. And for the first couple of hours, I was fine. Everything was cool. But as the sun kind of set in and we were, you know, working and uh, we had to bring a fan in because we were doing prom clients, I was like, I'm turning orange. Something is wrong. So when we left from there and I went to the Mac store, I'm sitting there like, help me. What is wrong with my face? So the lady was like, oh, you didn't know. Uh, let me not say lady. Paula was like, you didn't know that MAC Match Master oxidizes or whatever. And I had never worn it that long. I think I had it on my face at least nine hours. So uh, this is, this is 9.0 and this is 9.5. So you can see, even though I'm not really up close, you can definitely see the difference. And at the time I bought this, the 9.0 matched me perfectly because it was summertime, duh. So I bought it and it matched me perfectly and I was using 9.5 to contour and it was wonderful. Now my skin has lightened. I'm in the house a lot. And she was like, you want to try um, 8.5 and 8.0? So bless you, Paula. This was the first time I've ever been into a Mac store and they actually offered me some samples. How about that? So, bless you. She gave me 8.0 and 8.5 in samples. And I'm wearing the 8.5 today. And I absolutely love it. You guys let me know what you think. I think it's pretty, a doggone good match. I think so. And I still use the 9.5 to contour with. So, I, I really love the 8.5. I think that that is the winner. And I'm going to still put the 8.0 in my kit. I knew it was something different. No, you could tell this is a significant difference. It, it makes you look chocolatey and, and natural. 
Really? It do. I kept looking at it had something different, but that's oh, you know, I'm gonna keep that statement in my video. Also, guys, Miss Paula gave me the prep and prime base. She said just try it out and let her know what I think whenever I'm coming in the mall again. And I'm wearing it right now today under my makeup. Instead of using the make milk of magnesia, I'm using the prep and prime little sample kind of like it is it goes on very smooth and I was afraid of that because I'm very oily so I didn't know what would happen but so far so good I had to press my nose and my little cheeks maybe uh, maybe two times in the last four hours so not bad not not bad at all and as you guys heard my husband says look chocolatey it's like a rich chocolate it's a rich yeah. chocolate <laughs> Ah, he also, up what's up young. there? I picked up, and I know this is going to sound absolutely crazy to you guys, especially you guys who are Mac fanatics. I had no idea that Mac sold the large uh, uh, fix pluses to like everyone. I'm like, because nobody ever offered it to me. You know, I went into the store and I bought about four of these at one time, and the lady gave me four little ones. Now, I would think that she would say, well, if the lady's buying four fixed puzzles, maybe she does makeup. Maybe she wants the big ones. Here's the big one right here. Miss Paula hooked me up right there. She said, why don't you get the big one to keep for your personal use? Use the little one whenever you're out. Pour it in there. Back to Mac it. All that stuff. So thank you so much. I never knew that that was available to the public. I, I thought it was something that like the makeup artists in Milan or Paris or whatever use. So... Thank you so much, and I will forever get the big ones from now on. Cyber kisses, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.